YouTube, this is Rose. I'm making this video to share this with you. It's a video from uh, Apostle Laura Lee. She posted 11 hours ago. I just want to add that this woman has also called Jim a pedophile. That is a very serious charge. To call somebody satanic, very serious charge. To call them uh, transgender, very serious charge. Very serious. Psycho? Only a crazy person thinks that they can behave in any manner, shape, or form without consequence. Hi, this is Pastor Laura Lee. Take a look at this individual there. Look at the smoothness of the skin and the crease. Now look at the person on the left. Uh, what you basically have here are two different people playing the same role. These are New World Order gang stalkers. Uh, let me quickly show you. The one on the left has got a much fatter face and an older face. Has real natural wrinkles. It's a much wider face. It's a completely different person. Okay. I cannot believe that anyone could possibly be that stupid. Because I know about insanity, and um, I thought this insanity came with a certain amount of genius, but for her to make this video, it shows the absolute epitome of complete and utter stupidity. He's sitting a little bit further away from the camera. <laughs> this was taken during the day, and this was from, uh, a, you know, like a lamp or something. You can see in the background the shading's a little bit darker. It was at night. That's the only difference. Let's continue listening. Then the person on the right, they're both wearing the same attempt at the same disguise. We've got in the black hat, the big uh, glasses that are hard to see through. Uh, you've got on the mustache and the beard. and But on the left, it's a much older person, a much larger person, much fuller face. Look under the glasses to our left. You see how wrinkled the skin is? And you see how full the face is? Look on the right. See how smooth the skin? Now he's going to show you, oh, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not wearing a mask. Look at the line. Yeah, that's his real skin. But look at the line from the fake nose coming down. Um, it, you see the line is a fake nose. It's all fake. Fake glasses. Wearing the hat as a disguise. You see the smile line coming down. You see the smooth skin. And you see how narrow the face is compared to the one on the left. I mean, it'd be like if you took the guy on the left and you liposuctioned him and then ironed his skin out and took, you know, 20 years off of him. That right there shows you the meaning of insanity. This is what Laura Lee posted on her own video, on her own Facebook. Laura Lee Dykstra, yes, when a psycho X, she believes that's her X. She believes that Jim is her X, teams up with a psycho gang, with psycho gang stalkers. Well, an X doesn't seem to realize X means he is nothing to me today. Little did I realize the psycho, psycho X is likely getting paid by the New World Order along with psycho gang stalkers in reality <laughs> you're really going to use those words there are they are as nothing however when thieves steal money from christians pretending to be christians when they are this kind of new world order gang stalker well god is not mocked what money are we stealing oh <laughs> because your books aren't selling <laughs> You know what, Laura? 
Oh, you know, I'm not even going to talk to you anymore because talking to you is like talking to uh, like a rubber doll or something. There's just nothing there to talk to. Only God can handle you, and he will. But I'm going to say to everybody else who's listening, it is against the law to slander people's names. This woman called me a man in a mask. I can prove I'm female. People do go to court. People do take people at press charges and and uh, make uh, go go to the police. You know, you can go to the police when somebody is slandering you. File a report. There's laws against behaving a certain way online. I never gave this woman reason one to attack me, but she but she did. Hi, this is Apostle Laura Lee. I never have been one to mince words or play games or anything like that. So what I'm going to tell you is this. I've shown you that quote unquote Sister Donna is a man wearing a wig. So if you are so brain addled or so deceived or so controlled by the devil himself that you can have any further contact with a person that I have shown you is a man in a wig and is a satanic transgender. Would you please unsub me uh, and not comment on anything and have no communication with me? I'm quite certain you're going straight to hell. I'm quite certain you're going to hell. I'm quite certain you're not saved. And I'm quite certain that if you're going to hell and you're not saved and you can have that level of exposure and still have any contact with a man wearing a wig, uh, pretending to be a, a prophetic person, you're going to hell. You probably should sub channels where they're going to call you to salvation. I do teaching here that's apostolic. So you should start watching things about how to get saved. You should Go to a channel of an evangelist. You're on your way to hell. You're going to hell. You're not saved. You're going to hell. And you need to get saved. So please tune into an evangelist. Please don't comment on my channel or have any further contact with me. You're not saved. There's something seriously, seriously wrong with you. Okay, I'm going to stop there for a second and add that this is a three minute and seven second video. She said, you're going to hell 22 times. This was within 24 hours after we had had, uh, we had gone back and forth on email. And I just wanted to step away from the ministry. You know, I just wanted to step away from Donna, step away from her ministry, and just fast from all of it. And she said, that's a good idea. I talked to the church. Uh, you know, we'll do that. You know, have a good one, Izzy. She even called me Izzy, and that's not my name. I've already told her a million times. Izzy Thislin was my daughter's channel that I took over. And she just liked the name Izzy because this woman is not in reality. <laughs> You're going to hell, okay? You're on your way to hell. You are in great strong delusion of the last days you're going to hell I, there's no way i can believe you're saved did you hear her laughing i have to repeat this strong delusion of the last days you're going to hell I, there's no way i can believe you're saved there's no way i can believe you're saved if you see if you're going to listen to a man wearing a wig okay i had already told her like a day or two prior to this, I, I, Donna wouldn't even talk to me.
She was busy on her friend's channel, Sister Robin's channel, making videos of how horrible I was. And after, th if a tree does not bear fruit after three years, hew it out by the roots and cast it into the fire. I didn't want to have nothing to do with Donna. I was done with Donna and that, that ministry. Moving on. But still, she attacked me. Still, she said these horrid things to me. What's the worst thing you could tell somebody that believes in Jesus Christ? I never, I didn't have any of this coming. None of it. I've already, I ha I'll link, I'll put the link below to a video I made showing the emails, showing the conversation, all of it. And how she knew that I had forwarded the whole conversation and, and, and Donna heard the whole thing. That was an accident. And, and she sent me like 10 or 10 plus emails after that saying, oh, okay, that's okay, we're forgiven, and she didn't think nothing of it. But because of her insan insane mind, and it does not rest, the insanity does not stop, she probably went through the whole conversation over and over, who knows? And in her mind, she equated me still listening to Donna, who she believes is a person wearing a wig, just like she believes uh, Jim is. We'll continue. Okay. Whatever Jesus you believed in, you're going to listen to a man wearing a wig. You're going to listen to a transgender. You and I have nothing in common. I already told her I didn't want to have nothing to do with her. And prior to this, she was doing all her transgender. We didn't even practically speak. I, 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 I've shown you guys all the videos. I mean, all the uh, emails. I've proven it all. She proves nothing. All she does is slander people's names, tell lies, and there's laws against that. I'm making a video where everybody can see me. And I'm going to show myself so I can prove to everybody I am female. I do not have a mask. And I am not a man. And we'll give Laura an opportunity to see what she's going to say about that. Okay. We don't have the same faith. We don't have the same Jesus. You have a different Jesus. You believe a different gospel. I believe you're on your way to hell. And I said, let the sword divide. So I'm asking you to please get off my channel. You're going to hell. Go get saved if you can get saved. Otherwise, just stay off my channel. You're, you're, you're going to hell. Okay? All right? I'm just telling you how it is. Okay, so that's part one. I'm going to continue this. I just wanted this down for the record. Uh, after that, she posted video after video after video calling me poopy pants, saying that if she jumps in the flesh, she could call me worse. Well, one thing for sure is she is not in the spirit of God. She never has been. She is not in the spirit. She's in the spirit of Satan, and you're headed for big trouble if you do not repent.